It could almost be waves rippling against a shoreline on another planet. Neon streams catching the light. But this hauntingly beautiful scenery is toxic. The yellow rock formations are raw sulfur, crumbling and melting under intense heat. It may look volcanic, but this is man-made. When ISIS withdrew from the sulfur factory, they placed explosives inside what was a massive mountain of sulfur, as well as placing explosives over an expanse of around four and a half kilometers of this factory, sending toxic, poisonous fumes into the air. Hundreds of people living in the area had to seek medical attention for trouble breathing, burning eyes, and choking. Hospitals ran out of oxygen. I have no idea how the vast majority of these workers out here are able to deal with the smell and the burning in one's eyes without having proper protection. Most people out here don't have gas masks on, but they are working tirelessly to try to bring this under control. Across this otherworldly landscape, there are bulldozers, firefighters trying to stifle the flames with loads of dirt. This is a battlefield that has no rules or boundaries. And this is just one of the many ways that ISIS is trying to use whatever it possibly can to try to not only impede the advance of the security forces towards Mosul, but also in doing so, cause maximum damage and maximum impact on the civilian population. If this is a sign of the lengths ISIS will go to out here, it's terrifying to imagine what it plans for Mosul itself. Arwa Damon, CNN, Mishraq, Iraq.